guys welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back if you are new you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so you are in the right place you will enjoy a lot and learn a lot of things in this channel make sure you subscribe today's story is a story time guys like i promised last time i'll continue with western african men dating experience and today is my story guys <laughs> so guys it all started when i was at the university studying in africa tanzania and this guy was studying the same university but i did not know this guy my best friend knew this guy i don't know why i'm always connected by friends with guys <laughs> i don't know <laughs> But my best friend knew this guy. They were friends, not so much. But this guy told my, my friend that he really likes me. So my friend should talk to me, exchange numbers so that I can start talking to this guy. So my friend came and told me that, you know, there's this cute guy from Ivory Coast. He's so cute. Every guy, every girl here in the university likes this guy <laughs> he's so quiet a mysterious guy's kind of a type so she told me that this guy likes me and he wants to talk to me so <laughs> my friend gave me the number and right away i started chatting to this guy i sent him a message and told him that i was given a number by my best friend my best friend told me that you wanted to talk to me so this guy said yes i wanted to talk to you then i was like but how comes i i, I did not know you i have never met you here at the university but this guy said but me i know you i've seen you i've been seeing you around and i really like you you are so beautiful you know the kind of words guys say <laughs> I don't have to say them all <laughs> so we started chatting going out for dinner like that and after we started seeing each other as a couple so he was so romantic very gentle at the start and he could give me whatever I ask you know <laughs> without even complaining or saying i don't have no he was really sharp if i ask i have it <laughs> he used to tell me your wish is my command so i really liked that so and the other thing that he really liked is to hold hands when we are working and he could kiss me anywhere in public but you know what this one really made me feel very shy and uncomfortable because in my country it is very weird to kiss in public like yes kissing on the lips but not in public like that for him he could kiss me even when we are in the bus he kisses me anywhere he could kiss me without hesitating but it made me uncomfortable because i was shy it's not our culture but he really liked it so guys our story continued and after like five months this guy started changing a little bit i started seeing his real behavior so one day i was supposed to go and visit him at his place but it was during the evening and that place yes it had some houses but there were no there are not so much houses around it was a place where there are new constructions so there are not so much people so i told him when i arrive i want you to be there to pick me because that area i'm really scared because there are not so much people and it is in the evening the dark is almost approaching he told me okay i'll be there so when i arrived by a bus the guy was not there 
I called him, he did not pick the call. Yes, I knew where he was living, but I had, I had expected him to be there, and he used to live with his brother and the wife. So I could not just go to the house and they had the security men, all the questions, I did not want all that. I just wanted him to be there so that we can go together. So guys, I really got angry, started to get scared and waited for like 15 minutes. He was not there and for sure I really hated this. Not even from a boyfriend, even from a friend keeping me waiting for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. I did not like that because when I say I am coming, I really come. When I say I'll be here, I am really there at the exact time we agreed. So it really made me very angry. I decided to go to where he lived. I found the security man there and talked to him. He allowed me in because he knew me. So I went straight inside and I found him on the computer. I told him that, why were you, were you not there? where we agreed to meet. He told me yeah, I was busy. Why, di why didn't you take the call? He told me I did not see the call. I was really angry. I told him, I think I should go back to where I'm coming from because maybe you are not ready to receive me. But I was really surprised. Why didn't he come to the place we agreed? It really kept me thinking, you know, like, was he having someone else at the house or what was going on? So he said, I am sorry, please, it won't happen again. But there was no logic. But I accepted and forgave him. So I stayed. Then that one passed. So this guy started controlling me, guys. If he calls and it takes like five minutes not taking the call or two minutes he complains a lot like what were you doing why are you talking long to to take the call complains 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 oh if i don't pick a call by a mistake or oh, i am working or oh, i am having something else doing and pick later he complains the whole week guys you can talk say sorry all the time about it he used to repeat the same thing every time like it really disturbed me and I told him that I don't like this behavior but he continued doing it you talk of something always he repeats it so he used to do that all the time if something happens even if it is very little very small like you talk about it you say I am sorry he keeps on repeating the same thing. All the time you do something, he repeats the same thing that happened. So it continued like that. So one day I went out with my friend. I was going to the market. When I arrived at the market, this guy called me and I picked the call. Then he was like, where are you? I told him I am out. With who? I told him with my friend. Can I see your friend? I want to see her and talk to her. I was like, but why? I am out, you don't trust me? No, I don't trust you. You Tanzanian girls are so clever. I was really angry, but I did not want to argue in front of my friend. I told him, okay, my friend is here. So I gave my friend the phone and my friend talked to him. Then when he finished, he said, okay, when you get home, please let me know. I said, okay. So when he hung up, my friend was like, but this guy is so controlling. He does not trust you. He, she asked me a lot of questions and she was like, hey, I'm really sorry for you because this is not a good situation. I told her, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I really don't know. But he's like that. So we continue with the shopping that I, I was going to do and returned home so when i reached home i called this guy i was angry and i told him that why are you controlling me like that you don't trust me why i don't trust you because you tanzanian girls are so clever 
I told him we are so clever. So if we are clever, why did you start a relationship with a Tanzanian girl? You could have gone for those who are not clever, whom you trust. I cannot be with a person who I don't trust. So if this continues, I cannot handle it. Then he was like, ah, for you, I don't know. I don't know what you want. I don't know. I don't really trust Tanzanian girls. Then he hung up. He hung up. I, I was really sad, you know, when you, you start a relationship thinking you'll be happy, then you start to be sad. All the time is solving problems. All the time is solving the stupid mistakes because they are very few, very minor, but all the time keeping on repeating, talking about them. I got really tired. So, one day, it was a party in Tanzania when you want to get married as a woman, there is a party that your friends, the female friends, makes a party for you, gives you gifts and all that. So there was this party of my friend I went to, but in that party, there were so ma many people, so much people, but the seats were few. So I was lucky I got a seat and I sat. And I had told my boyfriend that I am going to that kitchen party. They call it kitchen party. So I got a seat and sat. After like 20 minutes, my boyfriend started calling. When he called, I could not pick up because when you're in the party, there are music, people are enjoying. There was no way I was going to listen to what he was going to tell me. So I did not pick the call. He kept on calling. He kept on calling. And another thing, I could not stand to go out because when I go out and return, I won't find a seat. So what I did, I wrote a message to him that I am sorry. When the party is over, I will call you so that we can talk. Right now, I cannot talk. There is too much noise. You know, guys, he sent a lot of message, like 30 messages within 10 minutes, writing, writing, complaining, complaining, calling me names. I really got angry because when something calls you names that you are not, it really irritates a lot. So I stayed in the party, but I wasn't happy. And I asked myself a lot of questions that where is this relationship going to? Where? So the party ended and I called him. He did not pick the call, guys. He did not. He was online, but he did not pick my call. So I had to write him a message that the party is over. Now I am going home. And when I arrived, I sent him a message that I am home. He did not respond any of it. So I slept and the next morning he called. When he called I picked and he was like, you were with a man last night. I said, a man? How? Do you want the photos? Do you want the video? Because we took some videos with my friends and all that. Do you want the evidence? I was at the party. And I tried to explain to him the whole situation, how it was, the seats and all that, but he did not want to understand. He was still angry. We talked about it. He did not understand. And guys, for me, when I saw that kind of jealous, at that time, I realized that the relationship isn't going nowhere. Because if I continue to relating him, then if it goes far and if he marries me, then I will live a sad life. Really sad. Because you can't live with a person who acts like that. He does not want you to be around friends. When you go out, he complains. He wants to control every move that you make. I saw it was going to be a hell life. So I told him that, you know what? I really love you so much, yes. But I think it should be the end of me and you. I cannot handle it anymore. 
Then he was like, why? Why? Why can't you handle it? What is the problem? How do you want me to handle you? How do you want me to take you? You want me to handle you like an egg so that you cannot break. I cannot do that. I told him, if you cannot do that, I did not tell you to handle me like an egg. No. But this kind of jealousy of you, I cannot handle it. It's over. He complained, he complained, and he did not believe it, guys. <clears throat> because he started telling me, I am sorry, I will change. I will try to change, please, I am sorry. I told him, for me, as I see things, you cannot change, this is your behavior. Please, it's over between me and you. He insisted and called my friend that she can talk to me, that friend that connected us. Then my friend was like, no, you talk to him, forgive him because it's not good for you to leave this guy. Then after you start another relationship with another guy, then when it doesn't work out, you start another relationship with another guy. At the end of the day, people start calling you like you are a prostitute. I told him, oh, so I should tolerate a jealousy guy, a guy that I see he is toxic to me, a guy that makes me unhappy. I am not happy in this relationship. I should tolerate all this so that people don't see me as a prostitute. Because if I date different guys, then I am a prostitute. I told her, my friend, let me, let people call me a prostitute. But if I am not happy, if I see this is going nowhere, I cannot to relate it. I cannot let it continue. So please, I am not going to forgive this guy to start relationship again. No, no, no. For me, no, it is over. And my friend was like, okay, but for me, I don't see if it is a, a wise idea. If you have decided to leave him, okay, that's up to you, but it is not a good idea. I told him for me it's a very good idea thank you so much for your advice so guys it ended like that and everyone went his I went his I went my own way and he went his own way yes sometimes he used to write to me uh, again trying to convince me to return to him but I refused and that's it guys that is my experience with a Western guy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this story. Please give it a thumbs up if you have liked this video. Also comment what you think about this video. If you have ever dated a Western African guy, give me your experience in the comments below. <laughs> also, don't forget to watch my other videos subscribe to share with your friends your family i love you so much ciao ciao